In the heart of the African savanna, under the wide blue sky and among the golden grasses, lived a young giraffe named Jerry. Jerry was no ordinary giraffe. He had a neck that reached higher than any other giraffe in the herd, and his tongue was a unique shade of blue. While most of his friends admired their elegant patterns and long legs, Jerry often felt out of place because of his extraordinary features. The other animals would sometimes tease him, saying, Look at Jerry with his sky-high neck and funny blue tongue. Even though they didn't mean to be unkind, their words made Jerry feel different and awkward. One sunny afternoon, as the herd grazed under the acacia trees, Jerry wandered off to a quiet spot by a small pond. He gazed at his reflection, noticing his long neck stretching high above the water and his blue tongue flicking in and out. A sigh escaped his lips. As Jerry stood there, lost in thought, an old tortoise named Tilda approached. Tilda was wise and had seen many things in her long life. Jerry looked down at the tortoise and sighed again. I just wish I wasn't so different. My long neck and blue tongue make me stand out, and not in a good way. Tilda smiled gently. Different isn't bad, Jerry. Different is special. Let me tell you a story. Jerry lowered his head, curious to hear what Tilda had to say. A long time ago, when I was just a little tortoise, I met a very wise old giraffe named Gracie. Gracie had the longest neck and the bluest tongue anyone had ever seen. But instead of feeling ashamed, she saw her uniqueness as a gift. She could reach the highest, juiciest leaves that no other animal could. And her blue tongue was perfect for grabbing those leaves from the branches. Jerry listened intently, his eyes widening. What happened to Gracie? Gracie used her gift to help others, Tilda continued. During a terrible drought, when food was scarce and the ground was dry, Gracie was able to reach leaves and fruits high up in the trees, where no one else could. She shared her food with the other animals, saving many lives. Everyone came to realize just how special she was, and they were grateful for her unique abilities. Jerry's heart lifted a little. Do you really think my long neck and blue tongue could be useful like that? Tilda nodded. Absolutely, Jerry. Every creature has something unique about them that makes them special. You just need to find your own way to use your gifts. Feeling a spark of hope, Jerry thanked Tilda and made his way back to the herd. He decided to embrace his uniqueness and see where it might lead him. Days turned into weeks, and one day, a crisis struck the savanna. A powerful storm had swept through, breaking branches and knocking over trees. The animals found their usual food sources damaged or destroyed. The herd was in despair, but Jerry remembered Tilda's story about Gracie. He decided to put his unique abilities to the test. He stretched his long neck up to the highest branches of the tallest trees, where fresh leaves and fruits still clung. With his blue tongue, he skillfully plucked the nutritious treats and brought them down to share with the others. The animals watched in awe as Jerry worked tirelessly, feeding not just his fellow giraffes, but also the zebras, antelopes, and even the smaller creatures like rabbits and meerkats. His long neck and blue tongue proved to be invaluable. As the days passed and the food shortage continued, Jerry's efforts did not go unnoticed. The other animals began to appreciate his unique features and saw how they made him special. The teasing stopped, and admiration took its place. One evening, as the sun set in a blaze of orange and pink, the animals gathered around Jerry. An elder elephant named Eliza stepped forward and spoke on behalf of everyone. Jerry, 
We've seen how your uniqueness has helped us all. Your long neck and blue tongue have saved us from hunger and brought us together. We are grateful for who you are. Jerry felt a warm glow in his heart. He realized that Tilda was right. Being different was a gift, not a curse. He looked around at his friends, feeling a deep sense of belonging and pride. From that day on, Jerry wore his long neck and blue tongue with pride. He continued to use his unique abilities to help others, and he encouraged every animal to embrace their own special qualities. Years later, as Jerry grew older and wiser, he often found himself sharing Tilda's story with the younger animals. He taught them the importance of appreciating their uniqueness and loving themselves for who they were. The savannah thrived, and Jerry became a symbol of self-love and acceptance. The animals learned to celebrate their differences, understanding that each unique trait added to the beauty and strength of their community. Jerry's story didn't end there. As he grew more confident in his uniqueness, he discovered other ways his long neck and blue tongue could be useful. He became the lookout for the herd, his tall neck allowing him to spot predators from afar. He would alert the others, giving them time to find safety. His blue tongue, flexible and strong, could even help untangle vines and clear paths through dense foliage, making travel easier for everyone. One particularly dry season, a fierce wildfire broke out in the savanna. The animals were frightened and fled in all directions but many were trapped by the encroaching flames. Jerry, with his tall neck, could see the safest routes through the smoke. He guided groups of animals to safety, his calm demeanor and clear directions saving countless lives. After the fire, the animals gathered to rebuild their homes. Jerry's unique abilities continued to shine as he helped replant trees and gather supplies from hard to reach places. His contributions were invaluable, and the respect and admiration for him grew even more. Among the animals, there was a young zebra named Zuri. Zuri was small and fast, but she often felt overshadowed by the older, stronger zebras. She admired Jerry and one day approached him, her eyes full of curiosity. Jerry, how did you learn to be so confident in your uniqueness? Zuri asked. Jerry smiled and lowered his head to her level. It wasn't easy, Zuri. I used to feel awkward about my long neck and blue tongue. But I learned that these traits make me who I am, and they allow me to do things others can't. It's important to embrace what makes you unique, because that's where your true strength lies. Zuri thought about Jerry's words and nodded. She began to see her own speed and agility as gifts. She started using her swiftness to help the herd, darting ahead to scout for water sources and safe paths. Just like Jerry, she found her place and her confidence grew. As time went on, more animals in the savanna began to embrace their own unique traits. A meerkat with an unusually sharp sense of smell became an expert at finding hidden food. An elephant with a particularly loud trumpet call used it to warn others of danger from miles away. The community thrived, each member contributing their special skills and abilities. One day, Tilda the tortoise, now even older and slower, called for Jerry. She wanted to see him one last time. Jerry, you've done so much for our community, Tilda said with a proud smile. You've shown everyone that being different is something to be celebrated. I'm so proud of you. Jerry felt a lump in his throat. Thank you, Tilda. You were the one who helped me see my uniqueness as a gift. I couldn't have done it without you. Tilda nodded slowly. Remember, Jerry, the real gift is not just in our unique traits, but in how we use them to help others. You've shown that beautifully. Jerry watched as Tilda slowly made her way back to her favorite sunbathing spot. He felt a deep sense of gratitude for the wisdom she had shared with him. He promised himself that he would continue to spread the message of self-love and appreciation for uniqueness to future generations. Years passed and Jerry became a legend in the savanna. His story was told to young animals as a beacon of hope and inspiration. 
the message was clear. Embrace who you are, for your uniqueness is a gift to be celebrated. And so, under the vast African sky, surrounded by golden grasses and towering trees, Jerry the giraffe stood tall and proud, knowing that his long neck and blue tongue were not just unique, but truly special. He had found his place in the world, and he had learned to love himself for exactly who he was. Jerry's expanded story teaches us all an important lesson. Our differences make us special, and by embracing our uniqueness, we can find our true strengths and contribute to the world in wonderful ways. So, always remember to appreciate who you are and love yourself, just like Jerry the Giraffe. Thank you for joining us on the adventure with Jerry the Giraffe. We hope you enjoyed learning about the importance of loving yourself and appreciating what makes you unique. Remember, just like Jerry, each one of you has special qualities that make you amazing. If you loved this story and want to hear more exciting and fun adventures, make sure to subscribe to Kids Craze Tunes. Hit the subscribe button and join our family for more wonderful stories that teach important lessons and bring lots of joy. Stay tuned. And remember, at Kids Craze Tunes, every story is an adventure and every adventure is a lesson. See you next time, kids. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.